Well, good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? It is Friday morning, uh, and um, I'm going to give a little devotion on Proverbs 19 today. Um, my son loves bugs, turtles, frogs, uh, anything that can be captured to be a pet. Because right now, like he is obsessing over uh, turtles. He really wants a turtle. It's his birthday's coming up and he wants a turtle and he wants a certain type of turtle and he wants all the stuff that goes with the turtle. Um, he is just a typical boy that uh, loves to be outside, loves to be an adventurer, loves to just go on a journey and do all these things. Whereas my three girls um, are not excited about these types of things. They're not excited about bugs. They're not excited about frogs or turtles and things like that. They stay away from uh, any type of bug or any type of reptile, any type, type of thing that flies, okay? But, or let's put it this way, but most of the time they're not afraid of slugs or snails, right? Uh, because why? A slug or a snail is something who is that is slow and slimy. Uh, I mean, really, who is scared of a, a snail uh, crossing over really, really slow over a, a, a path or something? It's not something that we are afraid of. It's not something that we we are, are uh, we see a snake and we're scared of it. We see a slug, we see a snail, eh, that's not a big deal, right? Because they move so slow. They don't do much of anything, right? Well, in Proverbs chapter 19, verse 24, we hear a little bit about a slug. But look at what he says here. He says here in Proverbs 19, verse 24, the sluggard buries his hands into the dish and will not even bring it back to his mouth. The New Living Translation says it this way. Lazy people take food in their hand, but they don't even lift it up to their mouth. Wow, think about that for a minute. Here's the principle. Laziness is not a good thing. Laziness is not a good thing. La a lazy person doesn't do much, just like the sluggard, right? Just like the sluggard. Laziness gets you nowhere, according to the principle here, what we're seeing here. And Proverbs is full of, of just examples of being a lazy person or being a slug. Uh, here, here's why you get nowhere. Proverbs 15, verse 19 says this, A lazy person's way is blocked with briars, but the path of the upright is an open highway. Think about that. A lazy person always finds obstacles in their way. That means a lazy person always then has an excuse of why they can't go further. A lazy person always says that, oh, well, this thing is in my way, or that thing is in my way. They, never, they need, never seem to find the way. Whereas the upright or the hard worker has an open highway. Nothing gets in the way of the hard worker. Nothing gets in the way. They're always going to go forward. They're always going to push forward in that. And here's why they do it. Proverbs 26 verse 16 says this. Lazy people consider themselves smarter than seven wise counselors. A lazy person is wise in their own eyes, and there's no getting through to them. There's no getting through to them. Have you ever, have you ever met a lazy person or a person that's like a sluggard, and you just can't seem to get through to them? This, this is even saying even the wisest people can't get to them. Even the wisest of people. He says even seven wise counselors can't seem to get to them. So that tells you why they why they're headed towards why their uh, ways are being blocked because they're they're smarter in their own eyes they think of themselves smarter so they what happens is they keep going into the same obstacles they keep going in the same way and here's the outcome here's the outcome of a lazy person Proverbs twenty one verse twenty five says this despite their desires the lazy will can will come to ruin for their hands refuse to work. If you want to know what the outcome of a la being a lazy person is, the Bible says it very clear. You will come to ruin. You will hit so many obstacles in the way. You will hit so many obstacles. Eventually, those obstacles are going to absolutely stop you for good. And he says, you know what? 
don't be this way. Don't be this way. Don't be the lazy person. Be the hard worker. Be the upright person. Don't be the one who is like a slug. Be the person who is wise and a hard worker and who has an open highway to things. Hope you have a great day today. Be wise and don't be a slug. Have a good one.